everyone princess here and welcome back to bear with me um i realized something in the last couple episodes uh and you probably noticed too that there's no sound coming from the game audio and it's just weird jazz music uh i realized obs was not recording for some reason the desktop audio which is the game audio uh yeah so i had a i i could i'm too far into the second episode that i can't restart and go through all that again and so my audio is in like from my microphone but not the game so i fixed it so it picks up the game audio now although it, there's barely any ambience it's just the voice acting so it's upsetting it's upsetting the series is when i record the series it has a lot of problems to it but um Luckily, my Undertale series is fine, and I mentioned in my Undertale video, one of my videos, that the audio was really hard to deal with with this game. But anyways, problems aside, I'm not complaining. There. I'm just... It's it's just upsetting to, to see all that, because I only have one day a week to record, and to have those kind of problems during that one day is so difficult for me. Um, but anyways, let's... There we go. The game. Good as new. And let's spit it. Let's just pay attention to the game. Because the game's fun, and I like the game. Great and job, I'm... Snoop. You seem surprised. I knew you could handle it. <laughs> Get it? And I just hope you guys are enjoying the series, because I'm enjoying it. It's a little fresh. Like, it's, it's, it's a different kind of game I'm not used to playing. And I want it to be enjoyable for everyone. And things happen. Being is right. This is a solid lead dog. So you think King's behind all of this? Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. What do you think we should do? Let's talk to Mills about this. I want to see how he'll react when he finds out his buddy might be behind this. Who is Mills? Um... Is Mills the mayor? Oh god. Oh god. Clark, where are you? Oh god. Oh. It's the red man. Wait, what did I just do? Seek and destroy? What did I just do? The moon is so No, I don't care about the moon. I I need the map. Oh god, did I burn down the diner? Oh no, Ted, what happened? I'll give you one guess. That bastard. Betty, is she? She's fine. Her ship was over hours ago. She went home. I hope so. Don't worry about her. Betty's a lot tougher than she seems. She can take care of herself. Oh god. Seeing it like this breaks my heart. Why would anybody do this? Don't worry, doll. We'll get to the bottom of this. Is, wait, is Clark is 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 uh is, is 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 Batman okay? Is Batman okay, guys? Where's Batman? I need to talk to Batman. Oh no, Batman's. I don't know where Batman is. Okay, I I, I guess I have to. Uh, Batman. I think I think there's an option to kill Batman or sorry CBG. Not entirely sure. I hope not, but we burned down the diner. Luckily, no one got hurt though. And unlike me, when I killed Millie last time. Hello. Do you know what time it is? Who's there? Ted and Amber. It's Ted, as in Ted and Amber. We need to talk to Mills. It's urgent. Can't it wait until morning? It could, but it won't. We found some evidence that might aid in the investigation of the steel mill arson. Oh my. All right. Better come in, you two. Thanks. It's a nice part. Holy God, excuse me. It's a knife. Oh, he's an actual inter Herbert mister. Hi. You have an intercom as a face. Hey there, Tin Man. How's Cowardly Lion? 
the Scarecrow and the rest of the gang. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't follow the Yellow Brick Road. Will you cut it out? Hi there. Sorry for barging in so late, but we have some important information about the Steel Mill Fire. Master Mills is in his office, burning the midnight oil. Who should I say is here? Well, we represent the Lollipop Guild. Oh my God, stop it, Ted. No one even remembers that movie anymore. That's a shame. It's a good movie. My girl Judy slayed in that one. Yeah, it is a good movie. And the twist at the end, when it turns out it was all a dream. That's good writing, you know. I'm sorry. Um, pardon me. I must announce someone. Just say it's Miss Ashworth and her dim-witted donkey Lloyd. I... Hush, Lloyd. Amber's talking to the nice man now. As you wish, madam. Sir, Miss Ashworth's here to see you. And her donkey Lloyd. Say it. Say Lloyd's here too. And <sighs> her dim-witted donkey Lloyd. Wow. That was really immature. Well, I am ten. Can we move this along? What's the holdup? Master Mills is expecting you in his office. Hmm. Are we supposed to know where his office is, or...? My apologies, Mr. Lord. <laughs> it's up the stairs to your right. Watch your step. Sure. And hey, don't worry, buddy. One day soon, you'll get your heart. I beg your pardon, sir. Just ignore him. God, Lloyd. God, I can't believe... I, I <laughs> Ted. Ah. Oh my god, he's a pig. Hi, Daniel. Long time no see. How have you been? You old so-and-so. Well, if it isn't my favorite detective duo. How are you guys? Can't complain. I mean, I could, but who'd listen? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, we got old Bear. We sure did. Ah, uh, if I could go back now when life was simpler. Enjoy your youth while you can, girly. One day soon, you'll wake up and you'll need two butlers just to get out of bed. Yeah, and my butlers are always giving me the lip. Plus, I think they're stealing my silverware. Ah, indeed. Good help is hard to find these days. You mean with all the fires and whatnot? Hmm? Ah, yes. You heard about that. These are terrible times, Bear. It's a shame you've retired. You sure could use your level of expertise. So I can talk. Well, I'm here now. And so you are. How on earth did you guys enter the city? I mean, with a lockdown already in full effect. He reminds me of Doug Dimidome, Dimidome owner of the Dimstale Dimidome, from the Fairly Odd Parents for some reason. Uh. Ooh, Rat Brian out? Or don't. I'm gonna rap right now because I'm Officer awful. Officer Mitch, let us in. Officer Mitch? What side of the city did you come from? South? Yeah. Uh, the officer in charge there is Burke. Brian. Good man. A bit unexperienced. Brian, sure. Good man. Well, to be honest, we kind of scammed our way into the city. Ah, uh, Ted, you rascal. Still, that officer should have known better. It wasn't his fault. We falsified. Um, yeah. What she's saying, only with less incriminating details. It wasn't the kid's fault. He was actually very by the book. And yet, here you two are. Yeah, whatever the case. I'm glad you're here, Ted. I'm sure you two already heard Dead of Officer you. Mitch! We did. He's the reason we're here. I came to stop it. It'll take a lot to stop him, Ted. I've heard what happened to Millie. Such a shame. Poor gal. How did you hear about that? It happened last night. The news travels fast around here, Ted. You know that. Well, How fast? He's going to pay for what he's done. I'm going to make sure of that. He's a maniac, Ted. I fear he's after me, personally. You? What makes you think that? My meal, Ted. It was one of the first things to go down since he appeared. It was a clear message. Now, whenever I look out that window, I see rubble, Ted. We had a chance to snoop around the mill for a while. How sure are you that Red did this? What do you mean? Who else? Is this a statue of you? Ah, uh, no, yes, Federico Champagne himself made it for me when I was elected the mayor. Just, uh, be careful, girl. What do you mean, Ted? Who else would have done it? Ever since that monster showed up, there have been new fires every day. He'll burn her to the ground, Ted. Our beautiful city. Not the description I would use, but sure. What evidence? I found some things the police apparently overlooked. Both lead to the infamous casino owner. King? I, I don't believe it. 
King and I, we, 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 we. Yeah, your buddies. No need to hide from me, Daniel. I'm here to help you. I wouldn't call us buddies. We socialize. What evidence do you have of this? We found the matches used to start the fire. They belong to the West Palm Club and Casino. Ted, these are serious allegations. If I'm to move against King, I have to have some hard press facts. Wow, this is a big key. Is it for some huge Amber, what are you doing? Shut up. That's um that, that's the key to the city, girl. Actually, Ted here was one of the few to receive. He didn't show up to the ceremony? No, he did, but he was well sleepy that day. He was drunk, wasn't he? Can we move this along? We have a long night in front of us. Ted's just always drunk. We'll stop by King's casino tonight. If I can get into his lounge. I'll go and ask him some questions. Where is your key, Ted? I gave it away to charity. Doll, please, let us talk. Ted, be smart about this. Do you think King will just play along? I don't care anymore, Daniel. I'm here to finish this. Daniel. If that means I have to dive headfirst in the shark tank, then so be it. King was left to his own devices for too long, and now he's brought this disaster to our city. It's time to put an end to his reign. God damn it, son. You're right. Is there anything I can do to help? You can get us into the casino for starters. We'll take it from there. I'll snoop around and see if I can find some evidence that'll help our case. What I'm saying is I found some things at the mill that would suggest someone wanted to make it look like Red did it to cover his tracks. Whoa, 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 wait. You think King was the one that brought Red to Paper City? I don't know yet. It's what I suspect. Uh, could this have something to do with the elections? Well, that's a motive if I ever saw one. All right, Ted. You're in luck, actually. I'm really not. No? I mean, there's a gala at the casino tonight. Some fundraiser king's throwing. For underprivileged rich snobs? I don't know. I want to say owls. Doesn't matter. All right, we'll go and try to get in. Ted, if you do manage to get in, don't let king get the upper hand. He won't hesitate. <gasps> to kill us? Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of tired. Anyway, Emperor, what the hell is wrong with I'll you? Get back to you as soon as I can. Sure thing, Ted. Just want your back out there. Huh. Thanks. Will do. Bye, Mr. Mills. What kind of rug is that that he has in front of his desk? Looks like... I don't know. It's me. They're on the way. <gasps> Screw you, Mills. Traitor. Ted, wait. We need to go back. We didn't ask him about Flint. Stay. I didn't ask him anything because I don't really trust him. He was acting a bit strange tonight. It could have something to do with the red man, like he said. But something feels off. Like what? I don't know yet, but I intend to find out. Let's just head to the casino for now. We'll deal with Mills later. Okay. God. <sighs> Stupid mare. So rude. Everybody's a traitor in this game. As I suspected, seeking out Tiger was a waste of time. We came to a dead end, literally and figuratively. It got the doll mad. I admire Amber. She'll be a fine detective herself one day, but sometimes she tends to rely on speculations too much. I understand why she feels this way though, seeing as we're still miles away from finding her brother. CBG's tip about the steel mill, however, proved right on the nose. Although we found some evidence, surprisingly overlooked by the ever-incompetent PCPD. I can't shake the feeling they were set up a little too conveniently. West Paw Casino matches and a voodoo trinket which suggest involvement of the infamous Reef King. The king is as smart as he is ruthless. And it seems to me leaving all that obvious clues around doesn't really fit the MO of a man who eluded the hands of justice for most of his life. Something was fishy about all of this, but it wasn't the shark. This whole red situation seems like a perfect opportunity for someone to hide their tracks. Someone with highly political ambitions. Daniel Mills is a politician through and through. No doubt about it. I've known Daniel for a long time, but knife to my throat. I couldn't tell you three things about him that you couldn't read in any newspaper. That's why I could never trust him. And I don't trust him now. 
if the pig and the shark think they can turn Paper City into their own political battleground at the cost of people's lives, I'll take them both down. And what I... are you doing? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Why are you sitting in the sound booth alone? Were you doing your diary thing again? It's not a diary. I needed some time to think. Can you close the door? Fine, can you hurry up? We have a case to solve. You can record your little diary later. Will you just... God damn it. I lost my train of thought. Might as well just wrap it up. Relax, jeez. Take your time, Anne Frank. <sighs> she ruined it. Can you cut that out in post? Sure thing, buddy. I'll definitely remember to do that. Anyways, all the clues seem to lead to the West Pot Casino. So, I'll play ball for now. Let's just see how all of this plays out. And eventually, how deep fried this surf and turf dish really is. Hopefully, come dawn, we'll be one step closer to finding Flint than we are now. The way that this game breaks. The fourth wall is my favorite thing. Oh my god, that was a lot. So we're at the casino now. We are at the cas cas casino. Susie Stitches. What are these names? I can't. Anyways, though, uh, we're gonna end this episode here. And in the next episode, we will explore the casino and see what King has to do with all of this and how he's associated with Mills. Because this is some drama up in here. Like, you got you got some backstabbers, you got some traitors, you know, just the usual stuff. But if you guys like this video and hopefully the audio of the game actually recorded, please. I feel like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe for more content like this. Have a good day, you guys. Thank you. Bye.